Hey everyone, as the opening of the Shinkansen bullet train line to Fukui is fast approaching, I'd like to take you today on the perfect overnight stay in northern Fukui. Some of you may not know this, but Fukui is located right between Kanazawa and Kyoto. In the spring of 2023, the Hokuriku Shinkansen bullet train will come all the way to Fukui Prefecture, making the trip from Tokyo a mere 2 hours 53 minutes. Until then, the limited express train will take you to Fukui Station, where our journey begins. Let's go! Our first stop is the world-famous Zen Temple of Eiheiji, established in the year 1244 by Dogen Zenji, the founder of Soto Zen. Every year, visitors flock to the temple from around the world to witness the spirit and the teachings of Zen, which have remained unchanged for over seven centuries. Eheji Temple is Japan's largest Zen Buddhist training site, where you get to watch actual monks going about their daily lives at the temple, and the headquarters of Soto Zen in the country. The mountain neighborhood in which Eheji is located is worth the trip in itself, with its many souvenir shops and local eateries lining up the street leading to the majestic temple. It reminds me a little bit of Kyoto or Nara. But because there isn't as many people crowding the streets, it's way easier to take pictures, talk to the locals, and take your time wandering around town. After our stroll around the temple town, we head over to the Hakujikan Hotel. Here, in the comfort of a Ryokan traditional inn, you can try Zazen meditation, under the guidance of an Eheiji certified Zen concierge. An open bath, best enjoyed after Zazen, makes for the ultimate Japanese thing. The Japanese style rooms are also pretty luxurious. Another staple of Eiheiji is the traditional Shoujin Ryori vegetarian Buddhist cuisine that the monks eat every day. Shoujin Ryori cuisine centers around grains and vegetables, so it is pretty healthy. I could also try Shabu Shabu, Japanese hot pot, for the first time. And if you stay at the Hakujita Hotel, you could take part in the morning reading of scriptures before Buddha among the Zen monks of Eheji. Now that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't miss our next video for day two of our overnight trip to northern Fukui. Good night for now!